She is one of the few fucking poets that bridge the gap between the academic world, because she teaches at fucking Cornell. Yeah. And the performance world. It's proof that all academics don't have to be pretentious douchebags. It's just kind of in the default setting, but sometimes people change. So please, give a huge fucking round of applause for our feature poet of the evening. Give it up for Stevie Edwards. Applause, applause, applause. Even in quarantines. Um, <laughs> first of all, can we start off with an applause for Aaron for putting this shit to fucking bed? That is something that's not just special about this place, but special about like the city that you, you have this amazing host who cares this much. Um, I'm gonna put my book down for a second, but uh, but yes, uh, you you all are incredibly lucky to have Aaron as a host. Um, I, I've been lucky in a lot of my life. I lived in Chicago for a long time, and we have beautiful hosts. Um, one that is oddly like similarly strict, like the same as Aaron, if I've ever met J.W. Bass. Um, but okay, home. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Um, that, 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 that is what I'm, that I, I think I am here for at least. Um, okay. So I'm going to start with this one called Sunday Morning Pastoral. Um, and when I think about this, I, I'm sure this has never happened to anyone in this room, but occasionally it happens to people on Sundays that they wake up and they're like, where the fuck am I and how did this happen? Um, not that this has ever happened to me or you, but it, it is a, a situation that happens. I, I've heard. Um, anyways, uh, Sunday morning pastoral. When I say that I woke up next to a cow this morning, I don't mean that I woke up next to someone similar to a cow. I don't mean that I woke up next to someone who was just a piece of meat to me. I don't even usually eat meat. Especially not in the morning, not on a Sunday. I mean, I woke up in a field. There was cow shit everywhere. I was relieved to find none in my hair. There was nothing sexual about this. I was not drinking last night. I just, I didn't know what to do about how low the remains of the moon hung through the night. Something in the gravity of this May is pulling everything kissed close to the ground. My body is heavy, pregnant with nothing worth naming. Sometimes fields are for eating in, sometimes fields are for shitting in, sometimes fields are for sleeping in cows. They understand this. My loves are still learning not to take it too personally when I prefer the company of mammals without vocabularies for guilt. The cows are teaching me about need. I don't need the armor of a suit of navy linen or the blister bites of navy leather pumps. I don't need shoes or matching or excuses for standing still for five hours watching the wind bend the grass southward or for gravity bending me down into this field or for smelling like shit. No one cares about the flies storming your ass if you don't. I can get used to the smell. Someday, I may miss something sweet and it's pungency, while catnapping on a subway ride to my cubicle. Nothing has been done. They can't be undone with a loofah and lavender soap. <laughs> Nothing worth how this night eats me. 